All right, hello everybody. <clears throat> I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth about what you're gonna get and how some of them have templates with them or some of them are scored on there. But this is the Hello Fall that I posted earlier. So you're gonna get your round. You'll get your letters and they're in pieces individually. And then you get your pumpkin and all of the parts that go with it. I don't know if you guys are like me, but to sit there and figure out how to get this on there straight so that it looks right and all of that, sometimes I mess up big time. So when I cut it, this little template is how it's cut. So I'm gonna send this with the, well, a lot of them will get it, but this is what you're gonna get on this one. So what you would do is you would line this up on your wood after this has been painted or stained, your back, and then after your letters have been painted and stained, you'll glue them, and then you would drop it down in your template like so, and then you don't have to have any guesswork as to whether it's straight or not because this is how it's laid out. Same thing with this. Oops. <laughs> Let's try that again. And then obviously you don't really need it for this other than to just to get this centered. And you wanna watch that the little ends of the pumpkin aren't over the edge of the round. Then you would glue all that down and then you would just remove this and it's gonna be there for you. So that's the template. I wouldn't leave this on a long time while this is drying because if there's any if you use too much glue and it's squished, you don't want this to get stick stuck to it. And then you have all your little pumpkin parts that you would paint. This is gonna be glued in place, dab of glue, and then you're just gonna drop them in like so. And away you go. And it's not gonna move on you when the, when the, uh, the pumpkin outside is, is uh, glued down. And then you're gonna get your stem. And this goes like this, and like so, so, come on, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, and like so, and then you're going to glue it and that's going to be done. So let's go one step further. This is how you're going to get it. This is mine that I've painted. It's not glued on yet, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys how I glue it on so I have as much or as less mess as I can. So everything has been glued and stained. This is special walnut that I stained the round on. And then here's all my pumpkin parts. I'm gonna just move them over. This is the best way to glue the small stuff especially, not so much the big pieces, but the small stuff. So we're gonna start out by, I wanna look at my wood grain here. I want it to go, make sure it goes all the way up to the top. Yep, okay, so here's the secret. Paper towel, obviously I have a lot of wood laying around so I get to cheat, I use wood. See if you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Paper towel. And I use the Gorilla Wood Glue. Whatever you like, I just happen to like it. It dries quickly. So if this were a paper towel, or not a paper towel, a paper plate, um, piece of scrap wood if you have it laying around, I'm gonna squish it. And then I'm gonna make a nice thin layer. This is what the paper towels work. I like to finger paint, so. All right, so we're gonna start with the H. And I'm just gonna dip it in my thin layer. That's all you need. Make sure the back is coated. Okay, wanna get that up there. Ah! See, and that's what happens when you use your fingers too much. And then I'm just gonna put that in there, push down. Mm -hmm. yep. 
a little bit more glue and you have to it dries quickly because it's so thin so sometimes you have to add a little bit more pretty quick okay let's go back to that now I'm just gonna go like that check it okay put that in there like so and then I'm gonna do the same thing with fall if you get too much around the edges you can wipe it off a little pairs of jeans I have ruined because I wiped my hands on my pants oh my gosh <clears throat> so now I'm gonna do the pumpkin so I'm gonna put a little bit more glue a little bit bigger space whoops that came out in a clump that's all right we'll use it anyway pumpkins kind of big okay yeah I tend to either keep a towel draped over my shoulder which drives my husband absolutely crazy because he's always looking for the kitchen towel or I wipe it on my pants. <laughs> so bad, I know. And I'm just dabbing it in there. Didn't get the ends over here yet. Okay, and you can see how I've got it nice. Oh, that one didn't get. There. Okay, so everything's got a kind of white creamy coating on it. And then I'm just gonna turn it over. I'm gonna set it right in its home. I'm gonna check my placement. Okay, that's good. Give it just a couple minutes to, to set. Easier said than done, right? Sometimes you have to push a little because it wants to bring up your letters, but they're in the same, they're in the right place. There we go. Now I'll have a little bit of cleanup and it's just a Q-tip. Give it a little bit more time to dry and then I'll clean it with a Q-tip. And then I'm just gonna start. Now these I can actually just put a little dab of glue on it because it's not gonna really be critical to it. Okay, I have to think of where they all go. Like that. I'm gonna put a little bit more on there. Right there. There. Now my stem and the small stuff, I will get my glue back out. See if it's still, yeah, still good. My fingers are sticky. Just watch your edges. Put that down in there, like so. And then I've got this little guy. Like so. 
so. And this glue does dry clear. One of the reasons I like it. And then that goes in like that. And then last but not least. And once it dries, <clears throat> it's all good. That one goes there. Whoop. Just slid it under my board. And this one goes here. And that's it. <clears throat> it's all together and it's drying. So when you guys get it, you're going to get this with all of your wooden pieces all in place. Carefully, I, I, I don't shrink wrap them, but I wrap them in, in kind of a packing wrap, I guess you'd call it. So that'll all be in place there. You will get the little stem part. Cat liked it. Um, so there it is. I've just got to wait for it to dry. But this is what I do with all my small parts as far as gluing goes. Um, it makes a big difference because I, I, I don't like the clear, fast setting gel glues because there's no forgiving. If you lay it down and go, oh, that's not straight. Well, it's going to be there now. So that's how I do it. So there's Hello Fall. Thanks, guys. Bye.